There was no alcohol allowed at the wedding, so there was nothing to dole the <laughs> Hey guys, it's your boy, Robbie. I hope you guys are having a nice day. Today we're going to read some cringy stories that happened at weddings. Let's check it out. At a classmate's wedding, they were young, maybe like 22, 23. There is apparently a caking tradition in some parts of the country where when they cut the wedding cake, the couple feed each other a bit and smear each other's face faces with cake as a joke. I've had that happen in many weddings I've been to. No! So, it's pretty funny. The bride had absolutely made 1000% clear to the groom she did not want to be caked. I'm pretty sure she probably got caked anyways. Let's keep it going. He did it anyways, and not just a small smear, but a full on smushed the slice in her face. She was stunned initially, then got up, face full of caked, yelled, You jerk, I told you not to do that. <laughs> and then ran back to a area in the reception. The groom tried to follow, but the bridesmaid mother of the bride stopped him. Oh, back up. So he sat at the head table awkwardly while half the wedding party rushed off with the bride. Wow, that's a way not to woo your wife or your soon-to-be wife. And that is a way to make your wife's family hate you after all the work you put in that's on you she stayed back there for like an hour they eventually did let him back there to check on her we could hear her crying and them arguing the rest of the the rest of the reception came to a screeching halt until one of the bride's aunts emerged and directed the servers <clears throat> excuse me the servers to clear the tables and put on some music they got divorced two years later I don't think it's because of that one incident. I think it's because they got divorced two years later because they probably didn't have a lot in common and did not spend a lot of time getting to know each other. So, yeah. All right, here's another one. The groom gave a speech thanking everyone for coming that devolved in the space of about two minutes into a straight up roast of his new brother-in-law. Oh, no. <laughs> They were friends, and the brother-in-law seemed to take in to take it in good good humor. But there's only so much implication of I'm sure going to be hooking up with your sister tonight that you can take before it becomes really cringy. Why would you say something like that? If you are, you are, right? That's the rights to marriage after you're done. But gosh, it didn't help that a it didn't help that a i barely knew anyone there because i was a plus one and b i was on a table with the elderly relatives from that side of the family who were less than amused yeah man who's your best man you need a oh gosh you weird all right here's another cringy one so the bride show up almost two hours later on her wedding Southern California in Southern California in an open field, no water, no shade. She throws up and wants to get married in her yoga outfit. The groom shut it down and when she refused to change her clothes, the groom decided to leave her looking stupid and they never got married. Yeah, stop drinking. That's it. At the reception line at the reception line after the church wedding ceremony, the bridge had the bride had a large bottle of her favorite perfume and sprayed each guest with it, female and male, whether they wanted it or not, as they entered the hall. Okay, it's like throwing rice at someone and you said don't throw rice at the wedding. You know? It hurts. Especially when you guys go too far. Some guests complained that the smell of the perfume was so strong that they lost their appetite and couldn't partake of the banquet. Okay. Yeah. I, well, yeah. So here's another one. They sang their vows to each other. Neither had a singing voice. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a no, no. 
Val's were generally crazy, like submissive in the bedroom and not asking about where she was going. What kind of vow is that? Oh, that's gonna be some issues. The auto the auto tune microphones were a terrible idea. Oh. Their vowel songs shared a chorus and it was it was awful and they decide they expected the guests to sing along with the chorus. You, even as a singer, you don't expect anybody to sing along. It, it's just hard because not everyone sings or likes to sing. The vowels singing last the, the vowels singing lasted 20 minutes. Pure cringe. Yes. The groom sang his vows. I honestly had to stare at the floor and slow breathe to not laugh and get through it. Oh, cringe. Invite all their Facebook friends and expect 700 people and like less than 100 show up. What's wrong with people? Not the groom and the bride's fault, but the pastor marrying them talked about his marriage and his kids for 20 minutes. He was obviously going to he was obviously going for something of showing what marriage will be like. Probably took it too far. But he full up was talking about how his daughter, Kelsey, learned to walk this way. And his other daughter's first words were this and that. And that he and his wife make love throughout the house because that's what you do when in love, etc. Okay, uh, too much uh, testimony, too much sharing. Bride and groom had to stand there holding hands for 20 minutes right in front of him as the other 150 of us had to listen about his life and his kids. <laughs> Did you not talk to him? Did you not rehearse? That's kind of your fault, right? You, you, got, you were getting married. You should have rehearsed and talked to him what, about what was going to go on, right? So I think it's the bride's and groom's fault. Apples everywhere, on the table, in baskets all around the venue, on the podium where they got married. Pictures of apples hanging everywhere, small fake trees with apple tossed under them. The dude marrying them had an apple tie on apples somehow incorporated into every dish for the reception. The cake was shaped like an apple. Man, look at them apples. They sold the or they sold the orchid a couple years later because they had no idea what they were doing. That that was just a weird story. Is it real? I don't know. Okay. Bride takes three hours to appear. After the ceremony, she and her spouse go up in an air balloon. The marriage did not last a year. Wait, what? Bride takes three hours to appear. After the ceremony, she and her spouse goes up in an air balloon. The marriage did not last a year. Did they fall out of the air? Balloon? I don't know. My cousin and his wife are super religious and maybe the two most awkward people I've ever met. They did one of those fake out first dances when it starts with a slow song then transitions to a dance number with an upbeat song. Not only is the naturally cr not only is that naturally cringe worthy, excuse me, the upbeat song was five minutes long and they just kept repeating the same moves over and over for what felt like an eternity. I've seen that before. Even the slow songs that you see on YouTube where it's supposed to be romantic, it's just, I don't know. I'm not into that. If you are, I'm sorry. There was no alcohol allowed at the wedding, so there was nothing to dull the way. <laughs> what the hell? Dang, that's mean. When I was 11, my cousin got married for the third time. I never really liked her because A, she was 37 when I was 11. Oh, that rhymed. We didn't have a lot in common. B, she was pretty full of herself. The wedding itself was fine, pretty boring, but fine. Then we got, then we get to the reception. We were told we had to sit down as soon as we got there. Some people found it weird, but I've only been to one other wedding before this. Her other marriages, were when I was little, no kids were allowed at her weddings. Why? So I didn't think anything of it. Um, the bride and groom then make a huge dramatic entrance and everyone awkwardly clapped for them as they strutted around the room with actual crowns on their heads. Okay. 
The bride then gets the microphone and hands it to her mom and asks her to say something she loves about the bride. She then tells her mom to pass it on and says she wants everyone in the room to say one thing they absolutely love about the bride. So to say one thing they absolutely love about the bride. Not the bride and groom, not their relationship, just the bride herself. It was super awkward. That's a lot of people to say something about the bride. It's kind of like if you're a teacher and you're asking the students to talk about what they like about themselves. And like hardly two students want to do that, especially on the first day of school. Flew away in a helicopter at the end. Flew away in a helicopter at the end, but there were only appetizers for food. Yeah, you can, you can tell where the bride and groom put most of the money into the wedding. Selfishly. But it's cool! I mean, it's their wedding. It's their wedding. Not the bride and groom, but the bride's father. I was the best man. They married young after she fell pregnant. It, was, it wasn't planned, but they clearly loved each other and it was the right thing for them to do in their eyes, both Christian. Real quick, just because you're Christian and let's say you, you know, fell into sin and you had a baby before you had a baby and before you had a baby, before you got married, doesn't necessarily mean that you need to get married. Just saying. Anyway, come to the wedding day, I'm sat next to the bride's father at the reception and I can see he's looking at his prepared speech repeatedly. I can see phrases like no idea would I've re preferred not to welcome you into the family in these circumstances, etc. Sorry. Just before the groom gets up to give a speech, the bride's father excuses himself to nip to the low leaving his speech behind. What? Just before the groom gets up to give a speech, the bride's father excuses himself to nip to the low leaving his speech behind. I still don't get it. I'm not ashamed to say I swiped it and then pleaded ignorance when he returned. In the end, he stood up and muttered a few words about love and then sat down. Okay, that didn't make sense. Comment below if it does to you. I never told the groom and I'm happy to say they're still married 20 years later. Okay, I know someone like that and that's not good. I don't know if they're happily married because maybe the bride is still feeling guilty about it? Gonna take it to your grave? Man, I don't know. Couldn't do that. Nope. Okay, uh, hopefully all these stories are not real. I mean, uh, I know I'm taking it from, uh, uh, I forgot her name, but yeah. So, if you like what you saw, please comment below and uh, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you do, I'll be the happiest man on the planet. Alright guys, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.